Hey guys, today's video tip. I'm out uh, on the road here in Los Angeles uh, getting in some cardio, but today's tip is actually on hair, believe it or not. Why would I do a tip on hair? Well, it has to do with pollution and exposure to ozone, actually. I'm here in Los Angeles where ozone, obviously we have the smog. Ozone is a huge component of smog. Fact. It's that ground ozone that can be dangerous, cause respiratory problems, and is associated with higher risk of mortality. In other words, the more ozone you're exposed to, the younger you may die. So, one study actually found that subjects who did not wash their hair for a day and were exposed to ozone, their hair absorbed seven times more ozone then when the same subjects had washed their hair. Now absorbing ozone means that your hair is absorbing the ozone as a protective barrier so that your body doesn't actually absorb it or breathe it in, which is the main way that your body gets ozone. Like I said, that can lead to certain health issues. So if you get up in the morning and go off for a run, do not get up and shower. Get up with your dirty hair. They believe it has to do with the oil in the hair uh, enhancing the sort of attachment of the ozone to the hair, which is preventing it from entering your body. Now, people like me without any hair, well, we don't get much protection whatsoever, so it really doesn't matter whether I wash my head uh, or not. Those with longer hair will get some more protection, but like I said, uh, if it comes to uh, when you're out exercising, if you live in a city like I am, when you exercise, it increases your uptake of the toxins that uh, are in the air in, in a city like this, it's a lot of toxins. So if you're out there, you want to consider using this advice, don't wash your hair before you go out for a run in the city to help protect yourself from ozone. Hope you enjoyed this uh, somewhat strange tip. As always guys, stay tuned, army strong.